ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another rebirth spectating video and in these videos you know damn well we're about to witness some weird uh damn it i didn't break my ankles what an idiot oh you ain't killing me today bot boy yeah you thought well we're gonna be witnessing shit like that <laughs> wow wow all right right off the bat we have your boys going down can our teammate hit the enemy no he's gonna let him execute wow that's crazy and these are the lobbies that a lot of people run into right here this is it now look rebirth is a great mode we know that everyone needs to be needs to be getting out there getting aggressive we know what needs to be done so i'm not gonna be giving any tips and tricks we're literally just gonna be spectating and witnessing and enjoying what the hell ever we're blessed with Again, I truly believe that in Rebirth, you should get aggressive with ground loot weapons. These, these, I mean, look at this. Hit fire PPSH build. I don't give a shit whether it's nerfed or not. This thing's still an animal. Very, very good gun. We need to get out there and start killing some bitches. And again, dude, I truly believe if you land chemical engineering or bio labs, you really don't want to get a lot of kills. The best spots, of course, are going to be control um, and then prison with rotation of Nova 6. But I did just say I wouldn't give any tips. Yeah, here we are. Uh, anyway. Let's see who the team carry is because your boy clearly is not doing nothing. Zero, zero. We got some. We, everyone has a donut. Everyone's got donuts. All right. A lot of gunfire going on next to us. Look at us rocking around with a with a bazooka staring at the ground. This is adorable. What what do you want to do? What do you want, bro? It's in Fortnite, homie. This also isn't battlefield. You can't just poke holes in the buildings. All right, we're gonna move on to somebody else who's not doing that still a healthy lobby dude we spectating for two minutes still 32 up this is a really good lobby this is a decent pr lobby for a lot of you guys i don't get why he's why he's doing that all right loadout going up we're gonna be climbing the ladder to get it we're gonna wait for it to fall and we're thinking about going up there nope never mind give me a headache i'm gonna be on all right let's spectate somebody else lone beast he's got bot in his clan tag he's got to be a good player he's got to be a good player right wrong look at all these dots man we got a uav and we're doing nothing with the intel man we're just sitting in the same building oh green look at green look at green neova's going out there bro he's getting It was like the moment he got aggressive, the game was like, nah, fam, get kicked. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this AK is, is nasty. I've been loving my AK lately. Oh my God. If you use the Jack 12, I hate you. So just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit of hate. Greatly dislike. Where do you guys think I should mount this picture? You think I should put it by the TV or is it too clustered? You guys think I should move it to the right? Can't really see it, but it might be better off, right? We'll figure it out. I think I think the left looks good. I think by the TV is probably the window. Honest. all right dude still i mean i really think a lot of people loading into rebirth with the mindset and, and them making promises to themselves like hey i promised myself i'm gonna drop donuts this game and not do anything it's a looting simulator homie we've done three objectives or about oh we've done way more than three objectives about to do another one too there it is they're playing the wrong game dude this is a really good lobby to drop your prs in and look you know a lot of people say savage a savage you really shouldn't be bullying these guys they let them have fun i refuse to believe these guys are having fun doing this shit, dude i mean literally what are we doing let's go let's go kill some people it's a first person shooter homie 
I'm a broken record at this point. I just can't believe the shit that I'm witnessing. These are the guys I die by. Camping in corners with Jack 12s. And you just cannot play it. These are the guys I die by right here. This poor bastard's fried. But I don't know what the hell he was doing and going prone for no reason. Lone Beast got lucky, got his first kill ever. This dude's having a fucking party right now. He's celebrating hard. Hard. Mark the rally point. Yeah, I got my first kill. Woo! 25 still up too. Bro, this is a really good lobby. I need to start solo queuing in, in quads to get these good good ass lobbies, man. My god. My god. You know, Blackout had a spectating mode where you could actually switch teams. So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is Blackout, their BR. You could actually go from team to team to team to team, and then you can go third person view, and then you could scan out and just watch from the top. It had the best spectating program of all Call of Duties. And I really wish we had that. That way we wouldn't be stuck with spectating these guys. He's literally snapshotting his own squad mates. He seems, Lone Beast seems like he's got a little bit of movement. He's quick with the mounts. He seems like he could possibly be a better player, but here we are. Now, he might be on a challenge right now to drop a, a one kill game. We don't know. He might be one of them streamers, them streamer guys out there. But this is just absolutely insane. And again, these are the guys that kill me. Why are we snapshotting ourselves? Just for fun of it? Y'all trolling me right now? Are they asking themselves, I wonder if this is savage. If so, let's just fuck with them. Because that's exactly what I what I feel like right now. And this is this is just straight weird. Dude, I want to spectate a player that actually wants to play. That's all I want. I just want to spectate one player that actually says, you know what? I want to play Rebirth. I want to play Rebirth. Not be on Rebirth. I want to play the game. Finally, seven minutes into the match. Again, still 20 up at seven minutes. Dude, we usually wipe through lobbies in about 10. So we're looking really good. Again, a PR lobby potential for everyone in this game and everyone watching. This is a really good lobby. And we've done nothing with it. And this is why it's a really good lobby because everyone in this lobby is playing the exact same way. You have people floating to the rooftop as well. So you can already guarantee it's going to be people top. Here we are doing another one. Okay, we got us. We got. We got it. We get. You see him. You see him. We got a snapshot. And go on the outside. Go up the top. Hit him from below. Your boy Slick VIP getting another kill as well. He's feeling himself right now. My bad. It was stolen by Champ. And I, I'm not even mad. They're like three stack, and that's fine. Three stack, all you want. I, I bet you about it when I'm playing. But at the end of the day, dude, it's a video game. I get it. You need three stack if you want to roll with your squads. It is what it is. But at least go three stack and push somebody. We're over here licking the floors, trying to clean them up. It's like, look at this spot. But dirty it up real quick. 16 people still alive. This is a really good, really good lobby. All right, your enemies have snipe, or your teammates have snipers. We have a sniper too, but I'd still go ahead and push that. One of you needs to close the gap while the other two put suppressive fire down range. Okay, or we're just going to go prone and stare at our teammate, wait for him to do something because we clearly don't have the capability to do so. You have a sniper, at least ADS and look at the enemy. No, fuck that. Yeah, he said, no, I'm not. Look at that. He can hear me. He's, he's, he's literally watching the stream right now. Ratty. The rattiest of rats. I mean, it's going to snapshot him, but you're not going to push. We already know this. Go answer the phone, homie. By the way, can someone in the comment section tell me what this phone is? Why is there a phone ringing right now? Is that some kind of Easter egg or some shit? Sitting on $25,000 as a squad. People flying in everywhere. And we're sitting on one kill, one kill, and a donut. Another snapshot. All right. Nothing being picked up. No one's here. One guy in the far corner. Guy floating above us, too. Could be a nice little... Nice little snipey snipe headshot. No, fuck that. Why even have a sniper? Okay, okay, okay. We hit him there. Oh, y'all both hit him. Okay. Oh, forget about him. Sometimes these decisions the players make just blow my head. 
It blew my mind. Why is he jumping? I really don't want them to win, but I don't think they're going to die. They're probably the raddiest of rats in the lobby. Double snapshots, double claymores on everybody, I would assume. Nope, not him. He's got, they all got claymores. So definitely ratty. This is the guy that has decent movement, but he's not doing anything with it. Again, you can snipe them. If your teammates have a sniper, they can easily take a headshot. Easy headshot. Don't shoot at them. Let your teammate snipe them in the face. But look, let's let's see what Champs does. If it lets me spectate. If it lets me. They don't look so friendly. On the enemy Spectating rebirth is a different is a different breed, dude. It really is. Rebirth players are a whole nother breed. And honestly, it's just Verdansk and Caldera rats that just went to this mode because it's easier to rat up. That's all it is. There are a lot of goaded rebirth players, so I'm not attacking rebirth players at all. But dude, the majority of rebirth players I think are ratty. But then again, some are Caldera players, so I guess it goes both ways. Now look, whoever's down here by the buy station, easy gatekeep. Look at this shit, bro. This is rebirth, my guy. What are you fucking doing? Someone might actually come up that ladder. We're expecting someone else. Yo, Slick got both those knocks? No shots. Oh, Slick is getting robbed. I don't know who got those knocks. I think he broke his ankle because only one of them got a kill. Oh no, champ got his first kill. I don't know how, shooting like that, no shot. But it is a 1v1v2 right now. We do have a good position. Enemies flying are under us, I mean, not flying, of course. They played the gas a lot longer than we did. Don't go for the execute, go for the kill. Ding dong. Or oh, parachute right to him, hell yeah. I'm not surprised you died there. Lone, you got this brother, I believe in you. Lone Wolf doesn't believe in himself. He has a stem. He's got another stem. He's sitting pretty good. Pick up that other stem. Pick it up. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. So 1v2 right now. Circle's coming back to us. And we're good. Good play. But I'm telling you, Lone Beast is a better player than he's giving off right now. He's got good IQ. He's below you. That sucks, bro. Lone, ha Lone is a decent player, but for some reason he's playing like a bot, and I'm not sure why. Now look, you need to get eyes on these guys. You need to look, son. What are you doing? We're not even trying. We're not even trying to win right now. It's gonna finish on the inside. Both is. You, you hear him shoot him in the fucking head, bro. Yo, bot. We have two stems, so we're good. I think that's what he's just trying to do, is just stem it up. If worse comes to worse, he's in good munitions. Again, his IQ is pretty up there. I gotta I gotta give it to your boy. But he, again, is just playing like an absolute fucking... Hot. I honestly, again, play that fucking munitions. It's probably your best bet. Stem? Ooh, we got real close. So guys, look, I get winning is the objective. He won with two kills, and I swear to you, this player could drop 15 kills concurrently, easy. His movement was decent. His snaps were decent. I didn't really get to see him shoot much, so I don't know about his aim, but he's got movement down. Uh, if he sees this video, or if you know this guy, let him know. Dude, you are a bot, but you shouldn't be. I have We've spectated bots. That is not bot movement. It's not goaded. He's no Joe Woe. Don't get it twisted, but that is a good player especially the iq with the stems and jumping down and and getting the munitions with it marked and everything and playing this he's got it together lone beast has got it together i'm gonna assume he's one of them streamer people and he had a challenge to win a very low kill game because that's how he's playing it let's see what he says yo lone beast ggs ggs man yo you seem like you're cracked out bro were you playing passive on purpose because your movement was on point yes
Okay, that's what I thought, man. You had a challenge or something? Nah, there's just been Kaboomin. I got you, brother. All right, man. GG's, bro. GG's, man. All right, that's what I'm... Dude, I'm going to look up his KD because I swear to you right now, bro, this dude's cracked. This dude's cracked. But guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel today. And as you heard here, um, Beast was playing just for the win. So I get it. Um, and I could see in his movement, he wasn't a bot. He was just playing passive for the W. Winning is good, but again, if you guys are struggling with winning, struggling with gunfight, make sure you're pushing fights. He was playing for wins, and I guess that's just what he's doing, and winning is the objective, but again, dude, it gets really hard for you guys to win if you lack IQ, if you lack aim, if you lack accuracy, and you lack movement. He had IQ, he had movement. Again, we couldn't see his aim, but I'm assuming he had that as well. Um, but if you guys are struggling all of those aspects, stop focusing on the wins, go for the kills. Try your best to win gunfights and get that practice in, and then once you're confident, you can go on to do exactly what he was doing and play for wins. Because again, once you have all of them skills built up, I'm all for you guys playing slow. Guys, until next time, you have a good one. Good luck in Warzone.